Hey everyone, I'm back today with a new tutorial and as you can see from my screen I'm going to show you how to use um, the blending tool to create blended um, text. It kind of gives it a three-dimensional look. You can really have some fun with this and get creative. So, and it's actually pretty easy. Um, so to start this process what we want to do is make um, use our ellipse tool and we're going to go underneath here we're going to hold shift alt control so that we get a nice even proportionate circle down below and then you can go ahead and fill it with whatever color gradient um, you want to use you can just pull up your gradient palette here and um, you can use solid colors or a gradient it doesn't matter and then what we're going to do with our arrow tool is select our circle and then we're going to make a bunch of duplications that go across the screen. So to do that the easiest way is to um, hold control, shift, and alt and we're going to hold those down and drag another circle over so we make a duplicate and then command or control D to just kind of control D, control D, control D, get them across your screen. So you have this nice row of dots and we're going to go ahead and select all of them and then go up to your object menu and then just over halfway down you're going to see the blend option here and first off we want to go to our blend um, options and we want to do specified steps and a good general rule of thumb is to start out at 200 so and then our orientation we're going to keep on this first um, option here that's going to give us this shadow effect of the dark and the light so hit OK and then with your dots still selected go up to object back down to blend and then just go over to blend and then make which you can see the shortcut is alt control B so now you see we have this kind of tube of color and if you do a control Y to look at your outlines you can tell it's it's reading it still as circles but that line through the circles is telling you that it's blending all those circles together so control Y will let us preview again and I'm gonna get rid of this because this is the final product but I have my drawing done here ahead of time so I'm just gonna bring this down and what you need to do or what you need to have is a stroked path so I tried doing it with a font and just outlining the font and applying this but that doesn't work so I actually had to draw my letters um, with the pen tool but this would work on shapes and stuff too. So get your line drawing here how you want it to look. And then your if you can see here, like this line is separate, the B is separate, this is one group, and then the D is separate. So I'm gonna duplicate my blend um, for every piece of text that I have here. So I have one, two, three. Four, so I'm going to duplicate this blend four times. Oh. Let's do that again. There. And then the rest is super simple. All you're going to do is select a piece of your outline and then select one of your blends. Go up to Object, Blend, and then you're going to do this third from the bottom replace spine and then it pops your blend up here where your line was. So let's do that for each piece. Blend, replace spine, select, select. There we go. Move that out just a little bit. And one of the things you'll notice right away, I can't stand that that's touching, I'm going to move it up, is that you'll see some little blobs here where it didn't quite blend smoothly, which is no problem because all you have to do is take your direct selection, which is the white um, filled in arrow, and select 
one of the circles. You don't really have to be too picky. And delete there. Delete. So I'm just going to go in here and clean up. And while I'm doing this, I want to remind you that I have a couple different things, um, resources for you down in the comments. So make sure to check those out. You can sign up for my weekly tutorial um, email list, which I just kind of email. If you sign, use that link down there and sign up, I will each week just shoot you an email that tells you, hey, there's a new tutorial out. Here's a link to it if you want to watch it. So that's nifty. And then I also have put together kind of a master illustrator resource guide. And the link for that is down there too. There's over 150 links to different um, tutorials, free tutorials. I just kind of weeded out um, the bad ones that don't have good sound or good learning curve. So go ahead and grab that and download that too. All right, so now we kind of have our cool finished product here and some things you'll notice is that this is still all completely editable. So if you click in the middle here with your white arrow, you can still, you can adjust your path, you can still tweak it, and the blend stays with it, which is really nice. And if you want to play around with the shading on this, you can go back to your blend options, and then if you by clicking this align to path, it's going to give you a completely different look to your shading. So go ahead and, and play around and get it exactly how you like it. And that is how you use the blending tool. Um, if you happen to create something that you're pretty super proud of, go ahead and email it to me or post it, post it for me on Facebook. I would love to see it. And until next time, have a great week.